hello welcome back so in today's episode we want to work on uh this filter page we want to work on this and we are going to apply uh, all these filters okay so we work on first design we finish these filters by price and brand and then we shall also look at this sorting okay so we we'll sort by uh, these three attributes and then we shall also sort by a uh, filter by price and brand and we will also work also on the search page okay so first thing i'm just going to do is connecting this category to our categories so if i duplicate this and i go back to localhost 3000 i'm just going to go ahead and connect with our categories okay I will just go ahead and connect with all our categories so you can see we have the categories list here okay so i will just go ahead and add connect these categories to the category page so let's go and look for our categories so if you check uh i think on the sidebar if you go to components I don't know if this is in the front end. Uh, sidebar categories. Okay, so here you can see we have this this link here. So we can just link to the category page. So the category page is located inside the category and then slug so we can just see uh, that we can navigate to slash so it is localhost to result and stroke category category or you could just say categories whichever you want category and then slash and then we can now put this category dot slug so category dot slug so here there is a slug on the category okay uh, category dot slug okay so let's just go and see if this uh, works I'm just going to wait and it refreshes we could go even and we refresh. And we refresh. Okay, so right now it is connected. So if I click on food and supplements, you can see it goes category food and sup uh, food supplements. <clears throat> so the first thing we can do is on this category page, we can first get this slug okay so let me just first go to this category page here so we can get the slug so here you can just say uh, h2 and i can say slug uh, is slug so the slug is here <clears throat> i have the slug let's see on this page here okay so you can see slug is food supplements so there are many ways we can do we can first of all get products uh, get category uh, we can just get this category by this slug the products uh, that are inside this category so you can just go ahead and get a category so you can just see const category so we have to get uh, the category by slug api route let's first see if we have it so in the api uh, under categories so you can see we have the id and i don't think we need the one uh, with id is there any reason why we need any with id because i don't think there is anywhere we are using the id okay i don't think there is anywhere we are using this uh, 
the slug of the id this one i'm not so sure okay but i just leave it maybe in the editing and deleting let's create another one okay so i'm just going to go ahead and create another one which is going to be folder and this one is going to be now we already have the one for the id okay so i'm just going to first create a folder called filter and then categories then filter then inside the filter i'm just going to put a slug so inside here i'm just going to put another uh, folder which is for slug just like that then inside it i'm just going to copy this route the one inside the id and i'm just going to put inside here okay so inside this slug we can just now find here slug and then category we get find unique where slug so here we are finding by slug include products and that's it that's the only one we want we don't want to perform delete and this okay so we just only want this <coughs> we want to find this category uh products that belong to this category so we can now go and call this api endpoint filter slug okay we can just say categories filter so if i just go here const categories and then i say it is await get data uh, is uh, then here we pass the endpoint so the endpoint is going to be the endpoint is going to be we pass in categories then we pass in a filter and then here we're just going to add this slug okay and then let's make this one async okay and now we have the categories and of course we can get the products from categories and let's see const uh products is equal to categories dot products okay so you could even go ahead and uh, do this and now let's go ahead and console.log products okay yes go ahead and console.log products and this is a, a a a server component so they will have to come here so they just go and seems my internet is back so um so what we want is i'm just going to refresh uh, this page here and then we see if we have actually some products on this page okay so now if you check uh, let's check here so you can see the products uh, they are here all these ones uh, is an array of products zinc and so many others so that is the first thing we can just do we can first get these uh, products and preliminarily we send them to this component so I'm just going to say products is equal to products, okay. Uh, I can just do this, and then I can just go. And let me first remove this console. I can just only put this here, okay. And then we can just come here and we'll so pass <coughs> in this filtered products uh, components. You can see there is this filtered products uh, I'm just going to send them here products is equal to 
products okay and let's go to these products so here let's say we are actually getting the products okay so now we no longer need these ones okay so we can just say by default we can just give this an empty array and I can remove this gate okay so right now if we go back products is not defined okay they just wait and see products is not defined Uh, that is in filter component filter component this one so the okay so you have to enter the products here okay make sure the this filter component is taking in the products okay Okay, so now you can see now that the products that we have right now is that all these uh, products are by food supplements. Okay, so that is one thing. And then we can also make sure that the categories which appear on the home page, I'm just going to go to the home page. We can also make sure the categories that are on the home page, they all have uh, products. If the category doesn't have maybe the products, then we can just leave it out so that we are very sure the category that we click has some actual products. So we can also just check that in the sidebar categories where we are having these uh, categories. So we can also check, do a check here. We can either filter the categories here. Okay, we can also filter the categories there. And you can only see that this one, uh, we can just do some filter here. So I'm just going to see only categories, only categories with products. Okay. So we can just say, uh, How do we uh, do that? Only categories with products. This one has a filter, so I could just say categories data. And then here you see const categories. Okay. Const categories uh, is equal to categories data dot filter. And in the filter, we access the product. Uh, actually not a product a category we access a category and want to return category okay dot products dot length greater than zero I don't know if this makes sense. Really, I'm not so sure. Can we just go ahead and console.log uh, categories? So let's just go to the UI here. And you can see that some of the categories have been eliminated if i check now on the console
Okay, so if I check on the console, you see that we have some categories. So the filter worked. So let me just remove this. Uh, this is to ensure that the categories we only show here, they are actually having products. It doesn't make sense when someone actually clicks on a category and there is no products. Okay, so we can just only bring the categories which actually have some products. Okay, and then this goes the same here. So you can see now food supplements, animal feeds, uh, fresh fruits, they are only those ones. And even on the UI, we only show those ones with uh, the here for products and above. Okay, so at least we have these ones and we are sure. Okay, so just move on with this logic. So already the first filtering is done whereby someone actually clicks on this and then it has uh, many stuff. So what I'm just going to do is I want to go to this. Um, first of all, we could also pass in this uh, category here like the title uh, because if you just look at this whatever they have here the phones they pass the title here and then also they pass that title there so we can first also work on that easily after getting this uh, let me just go back to this page where I have these uh, categories so you can see here in this component if you go there you see we have the brand graph and we have also the sorting and these ones they may need still access to the categories okay so we might just actually send the whole entire category and then from here we can actually devise some means okay so let me just go and revise this so instead let me send the category Okay, I'm just going to send the category itself. And this is not categories, I think it's a category. Uh, and then we're just going to get this one after. But we have this category. So we can send this category. And then when we go to the filter component, let's accept the category. Okay, I can just accept this as a category. But uh, category so you can accept this category and from this category I can abstract many things first I can say const okay and then we can get many things from it uh, is equal to category so one we can just abstract uh, for instance the title we can get a title from there and then we can also get the products from there okay so you can just like uh, get these two things the title and the products so the products come here and the products and then uh, what we can send here is in the breadcrumb and this most of the, in the breadcrumb I'm just going to send there the title so here I'm just going to say title uh, is equal to title okay uh, the spelling here title so I'm just going to go to this breadcrumb and I'm just going to uh, accept the title here okay and then we can actually put the title here uh, 32 and this one doesn't need to be href I think like it doesn't need to be a link for sure so if we just go on this page this I think it is a link <coughs> uh, linking to this very slug but I don't think it should be a link like the home can be a link but then this slug uh, here I don't know, we can also make it a, uh, the fact that we have also a slug, we can, if we, we could also bring in the slug, because we have it, and then here we could just also, this is uh, the, whatever we can just put, 
we put like slash so here it could be slash but i'm not going to make it uh i'm not going to make it just going to simply make it here a p tag as simple as that and just going to provide the title so here i'm just going to put the title as simple as that now here we also want these results that are being shown you can see they're showing 40 out of these a thousand results so for now let's first uh, see what we have here right now uh, if i go back here so we should have now you can see home food uh, food supplements okay uh home food supplements and then we also need this search i think this is in the filtering so let's go back to this filter component <clears throat> so here we might just need also to send uh, the title and the products so let's just send the title and the products so you could just say title is equal to title and then products do we really need in the sorting do we need products i'm not so sure let me just only first put uh send the title we shall see so search results so this one is going to be if it is on the search page so you can see they are somehow a uh, little bit different if i just duplicate this page and instead on this page i'm just going to search for something let me go on this and uh, let me search for maybe a phone okay and the first bring you suggestions <clears throat> I'm just going to click on see all so you can see search is phone and so on the search page we have this prefix okay uh we could uh easily get this okay uh i could easily get this and check if it is having this slash okay so for instance let's first go on our search page uh, we could just go here and let's duplicate this one more time So we have also the search page okay we have the search page so the unfortunately the search page is also taking in uh, it might give us an error i guess or something yeah uh, probably an error because the search page is also using the same technique uh, let's go to the search page here search and if you just go to the page you can see it has this filter component so we're just going to sort this for now let's just actually first uh, leave it like that i'm just going to comment it out let's first work on one part we shall work on the filter later okay let's go back to this part here okay so in this part here uh this yeah in this case you we have here the name and then the site so i'm just going to come here uh, go back to the filter component uh, then inside here the sorting more especially here okay uh, you can just go and say okay 
so this name will change for now let me first duplicate this name we shall handle when we reach on the search page for now let's simplify it i'm just going to paste it here and let me comment out this is going to be used for search and then this one is going to be this one so here we simply accept the title okay uh, we accept the title and also we act uh, so this title is what actually we just go ahead and put here title and i don't know if we should capitalize it uh, let's see what does it return okay so this is the search page just want this one so this one this one should change now to <coughs> food supplements okay so you can see it is now food supplements maybe we should uh, board it somehow let's see font uh, what is medium let just say medium and see if this somehow boards it okay so uh so far so good okay so far so good uh, i think you're just going to say send semi board semi board just like that oh it had actually just uh boarded it let just leave the medium i think the medium is the perfect one so we have a list so far we are moving in the right direction we have this coming out and then we are now having uh have to have these ones the filtering okay so what i want we're just going also to have at add more products in this but we could first work on this uh, the sorting uh, this filtering uh, these ones these three that uh, we have in this so how are we going to do that uh first for the relevance i think it is easy because if you check in the relevance and uh, here if you hover on the relevance you can see that uh, it is having categories uh, it is the same very link that we have here on top uh, this very link here we have on top is actually what is in here in the relevance so the relevance is somehow easy to get we can simply put this now i don't know if we need a slug or if we could use the path name i think here we could just easily use const path name is equal to use i don't know if this is at the back end so let's see console.log path name we could just get it as the path name okay just come this side now let's refresh this one we can remove the search so this one has okay use path name is on the client okay so um i don't know if we should do that i'm not sure uh, alternatively uh, alternatively we could use the slug uh, i'm not sure, sure, not sure which one is uh, better to use Okay, let's just send here a slug. I think that is the easy way. Let me just send here a slug. If we need to use this one in the future, we shall use it. But let's first leave this one as a server-side component. 
So here I'm just going to simply say uh, link to uh, just say this. I'm just going to put category and then here we have the slug. Okay. Now I'm not sure on the uh, on the search what it is going to be but right now it is going to be this. Uh, this one supposed to be a like that so we can now go back to category slug okay for relevancy and then still we might just use the path name because uh, if you see this selection here you see if you select this one the tab becomes active you can see this one has become active and if you want to apply this active we are going to still use the path name. They just use the path name since uh, I'm just going to use the path name for sure. Uh, just use the path name. We just get this from next navigation and then we make this one as a client component. So use client. Okay, so now So still, I think we still need a slug. Uh, so here we're just going to apply the active class. Because if you look at them, they change the color uh, plus the border. Okay. Uh, if you look at them, uh, this one now, slug and undefined. Let's first pass the slug. This one. Uh, in this sorting, let's pass also the slug. So just get also the slug here, and let's pass this slug here. Okay, so now we should have uh, here the slug. Okay, so you can see uh, we have the slug. Okay, so now we could just say if, so in this uh, which page, in this sorting, we can just say compare and we say if the path name, okay, uh, here, uh, we could just uh, pass this, and here we could pass anything we want right now, we could pass the path name or anything, but we could just come here uh, onto this link, uh, more especially on these classes, and they can just make a statement just like this. That if, so we can just like have this, if the path name is equal to slash. Uh, is equal to uh, is equal to what? Um, if the path name is equal to Maybe we create the path here. Uh, can I just create here this? Uh, so we have the path name and then we have the const. Maybe uh, path. How can we call this? Okay, this the one you're just going to use here. The href. Let me just maybe call it HRA for failing to get the good name. And is equal to, so the HRA is just going to compose it. Okay, we just compose it here. Category. It will be category slash dollar slug. Okay, just like this. 
and it is the one that we're just going to use here uh, href okay so now we can just say if the path is equal to href if this is true if this is true uh, if this is true then then we can just show this uh all the stylings that we had these ones just going to copy this put them here and then we have else so else we can put this of course if it is this the border is going to be uh let's just say apply lime and then of course also this the color so there are some of course we want like px and py and then also text uh, they just go and see if this actually changes this Yeah, so you can see this one change it. So we need the one which really identifies maybe <coughs> uh, we can apply maybe actually a really background. Maybe we could try background it would maybe make sense. Uh, instead of the border, I'm just going to try BG. <clears throat> let's just remove this border let's try bg and for the text and we could just like try uh, bg slate uh, maybe let's try 800 and text can we leave it lime 400 let's see this certain will be somehow recognizable yeah, so you can see right now the selected one is relevance. Okay, and maybe we leave the border. Uh, we could also just leave the border. Okay, let's just look at this. Okay, so now we can just like leave it like that. And then for these ones, uh, of course, when someone clicks them, they start with this first one. Okay, I just uh, click this uh, first one, high to low. So when you see the high to low, you can see it is just like this. Okay. Uh, I think this one just going to name it relevancy. Okay, so this one is for the relevance. Okay, and then we can just also have this const high to low. Okay. Uh, for it here is equal to this just like that and let's just copy this relevancy to here so this one is having relevancy let's add here relevance like that and then even here is add relevancy okay so the first one is high to low so you can see high to low should be the same thing like above with even uh, so I'm just going to say this categories we're just going to have uh, the same thing let me first do this cut it and then let's put it in these strings so we have category and of course this is a slug 
so just add dollar slug and then you have this okay uh, this one is high to low so first of all we're just going to do come here and this is what we are going to put on this just like that we can also work on the one of low to high uh, so the one of low to high i think it only changes to ascending this is low to high low to high okay so low to high uh, here you think it will be ascending is it just like that is sick or a sec they just get it from here so just go to this uh low to high it is a asc 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 just like this if you look at it everything so is equal to asc okay so now we can also use this and if you wanted actually if you wanted we could uh, create an array uh, for that yeah i think i'm just going to do that we can just simply use uh this only one we could just use only one and then we map through so i'm just going to come here and I create an array so can i say const okay and then just going to call them sorting links sorting links is going to be equal an array and then here we have the object the first thing we have is the title so for instance we have relevancy and then here we can have what we call the path so we can just have maybe the h wave or whatever <coughs> maybe just call it, do we call it like h wave or we call it just create a trade now for relevancy it is already we have defined these links here so we can either just copy them the way they are right now just like this you can cut this and then you just simply put it here just like that uh, just duplicate two times okay so the another one is this high to low so this one title you can just say high to low and then the path is this one and then finally we have this low to high uh finally here just going to put the title as low to high and then just put this one so now what we simply do is we map through them so the sorting here so just remove all these ones and let's just do the map so we just see here sorting links sorting links dot map i'm just going to map here as i have a link with its index and then you're just going to go ahead and return i'm just going to return this now this time we don't have to do this whole thing if path name is equal the link dot okay link dot href as simple as that and then here we pass in link dot href and then here we put the link dot title as simple as that 
so we have an error and i think it's just because of these <coughs> Okay, so now let's see if this works actually. So we just have this here. And you can see by default, we have this one selected. If I just click on high to low, by the way, just see the titles. Here we have price, high to low, price, low to high, just change the titles. They have price on them. So title they have like for instance here, they have like price like that and even this one has price on it so it's a price low to high so you just first see if this is actually selecting so it changes actually you can see so to descending but the selected does not the path name is Oh, oh, so the path name actually doesn't involve the queries. Okay, let's console.log the path name to show you what I'm meaning. Uh, uh, let me just console.log the path name. You might just need to use something else, maybe. Uh, let me just go to inspect okay so right now if you check the console close this you can see that this it is category supplements it's actually stops here doesn't add the query selectors okay okay so now we might just need to be a little bit okay we might just need to to be a little bit uh i don't know how do i get that entire path um We have to be somehow uh, logical at this point. <clears throat> um, do I get? I would concatenate that. So, uh, also, what we could also do is we could define uh, we could define this. Uh, this uh, this uh, this param okay we could uh, put this param here so what I'm just going to do I think there is a better way of getting the entire path uh, we cannot get it from the router can we uh, let just first see what does router give us anyways const router is equal to use router from next navigation and if we just say router dot okay so we have this replace there so I think it is for just manipulating but it doesn't have the actual it doesn't have the actual thing okay i'm just going to use some other method i think we can just define in each case the params so for instance in this case in the relevance there are no params and then in this case uh, we have this param here so i'm just going to say params And then in this case, maybe we can say the params, uh, these ones. Okay. So you could just now consider the path name uh, here. Uh,
How does the params uh, help us now? So here we could be comparing params with link. Uh, let me pass put the key here. I forgot to put the key. So just put here the key as index. So we could just like be considering params uh, path name. Uh, I'm not sure how we are going to do the concatenation. Um, how do we do the concatenation? Uh, we could just come here and say const uh, before the return const uh, define the actual path name maybe actual path name I will keep researching get maybe a better solution but for now I just use this one I'm just going to say it is going to be path name okay I'm just going to say it is dollar path name uh, path name and then we can actually concatenate with does the path name has a slash at the end it does not have the slash so um, so here is path name then slash uh, this uh, link dot params uh, slash link dot uh, the params and then here we can just use the actual path name okay <clears throat> I don't know if this will yield any results this one should now uh, select any of these ones. Maybe let me actually console.log actual path name. Could just go here and also do console.log the actual path name. I have no idea of how it looks like. So the actual path name looks like Cate uh, category food supplements then slash short is equal ascending is equal ascending oh it is it, it just put all for all of them okay so the first one the second one and the third one okay and then yeah and then it should be now okay why why is it why is it not actually applying this the actual path name because here yeah, the actual path name should be equal this uh, let me also just go ahead and and also console.log link.href console.log uh, here uh, path name and I'm just also going to console.log link.href Okay, so in each case, uh, we have these the three cases here. So this uh, slash food supplement slash. Oh, okay. There is in one case there is a slash, another case there is no slash. So which one is right? 
I think the actual one there is no slash. Yeah. So there is no need of a slash. Let's go see here. I think here we just actually need to concatenate. There is no any slash whatsoever. Okay, so we just go back. Okay. So now, how does this uh, become like that? Is it trying to tell me that in all cases it is equal? Uh, it can't be. So if right now the path name is this one, we cannot have all of them uh, have that. If the actual path name, then we apply this else. How comes all of them they are having they are all selected? Uh, let me refresh. This doesn't make sense. Um, hmm. um, so right now we have this here. And how comes uh, all of them are selected? Is it because just like we are we are using this? We could just get from window dot location. Uh, let me just make uh, here if window is not equal I think is it that's how they do it uh, not equal to undefined okay and then we're like uh, path is equal to window dot location now i'm not sure if this gives us the whole entire location can i pass uh console dot log path let's just see if we can just get the path Path is not defined. Const path. Is it? Like yes. Uh, we still have the uh, issues with window dot location. And for some reason, we don't get anything. Oh, so on the location, we have the H wave. So, can I say here uh, location dot? H wave. I think it is the one we want. There is also path name on it. Uh, then we have the H wave. Then we have the origin and all that. So now, right now, if I just print out this. So if I change to this, let me just see. It changes, supposed to change. Oh, 
Oh. So it doesn't change when you create you change here. Okay, it changes. Uh, it is giving me a wrong one. Uh, category supplement sort is equal sending. Something is not quite right. Okay, let me just refresh. Uh, still, we, we get this error window is not defined. <laughs> uh, Uh, this one is not working, I guess. Is it undefined or something? So probably we cannot we cannot use the window object it will keep cause us more problems i guess okay anyways they just first leave this uh whole thing we're just going to uh i'm just going to look for a better solution to it okay for now let's focus on it working maybe sorting or doing some important task then doing this okay let us just uh, focus on that so for now let's just first leave it at that at least we are changing when we click on relevancy we change this uh, if i click on relevancy it should change the url at least okay so the url changes to this if i click on okay sort descending and then this so ascending at least it is changing the url okay so now what we want is of course for uh, this one it should just render these products the only thing we have to care about is these ones high to low sort descending and just like this okay so how would we actually um how would we actually uh, handle that so when it is sort descending we can first of all get these params okay we could get this uh, params now would be actually filtering these would be filtering these products here okay would actually be working on these uh, products now there are two ways we could consider this we could use at the back end okay and then we could also do it at the front end now <coughs> if we are getting these from the products so the only one way we could also uh, just get it is that um, we could manipulate them at the back end okay for instance one thing we are very sure we can just come here on the slug where we have the slug here we can be very sure to have the id so here i can get this category id okay so let me show you another way we can do this so another way would be for instance const products okay is await is equal to await and i would get also maybe get data now let's first work on this 
uh, actually we could just also send so get data get data and we could pass uh, products and we could pass a param okay uh, for instance I could just say where category ID is equal to dollar so let's just make this one as params as this and then here is dollar and I'm just going to say it is category dot ID something like this so get data and then we pass in this now how do we get these params so i'm just going to first uh, get this one off but how do i receive these params at the back end so let me just go back here uh, let's go to the api uh, api we go to products here route so this is where we are doing the whole entire magic so let me just first minimize the post the whole thing here is we are getting this okay so how do i receive the params okay so in the back end can we just receive here uh can we receive use params i'm not sure use uh params uh i think this use such params uh, let me just go to the documentation a second so i'm just going to say use such params from next navigation i guess So if you see use such params such params okay next let's just go and see so there is this such params now there is such params at the front end and such params in the client uh, in the client and both the server so so they say here use such param is a client component hook that lets you read the current urls query okay so that is one thing uh, that one is for the i don't know can we have we don't have the at the front end at uh, the server side uh, yeah, here we might use something uh, we might just need to get it from the request Uh, here everything is so about so you just first see such params search params so we have such params and use such params so there is you can just see here uh let's first go up search params and an object containing such params on the current url search params is a dynamic api whose values cannot be known ahead of time it will be page into dynamic at request time
I don't know if this has any good news search params. If we just say search search params. And let me just go here and console.log the params. Uh, uh, search params. Let me just go ahead and console.log search params, anyways. And let's go ahead and maybe do this. Okay. Uh, we could just test it in the browser. We don't have to do that. They just say. Uh, we could just test it here. Go here, duplicate this. So you could just test like products, API. So you say API stock, API stock products. Okay, stock products, and then stock this. We can just remove this. So products question mark cut ID equal to maybe nine. So just go to this. And let me just go to this. Uh, let me just uh, enlarge this. I don't know if we have errors or any anything okay so here we have this uh all the products of course but then here we don't have anything oh so we have an undefined okay so we might just actually use the request uh We might just use the request. Uh, so here, if I just get a request dot URL, I don't know if was it. The, I don't know what the request contains. So let's just uh, wait for a second. Okay, so <clears throat> after searching here on the internet, uh, I find this uh, question. How can I access params for get in a route? So you can see uh, the answer here is using the next URL of search params. So you can see the full answer here. You just have uh, from the request, we use the search params. So if I just copy this and I go in our route instead of the search params direct like this, uh, you can see you actually access them from request next URL and then you don't need them from here. Okay, I guess you would have destructured this okay so now you can see if we console.log and this we pass in the cat id cat id just like that if you go back here and let's apply cat id equaling maybe 12 and let's run this okay Okay, so you can see here, 
we have the results but if you just scroll down here we just need to see 12 somewhere yes so you can see 12 is here okay so now we have a way of getting these uh params so now first of all all our params uh we can we have so far uh, this so the first one is this like if it is this this is a param where cat id is equal to that then we have these uh, all these other params okay so we could make a request and if we just get cat id so i'm just going to say here cat id I don't know if this has the has, so you could just say const cut id is equal to this. Okay, we save this in the cut id, and then we could also just say uh, const. We can uh, get others the sort, for instance and we could just get them from also this dot get sort okay we'll be just getting them like this so we can say sort by and this one we could also call this category id category id we could just like, get uh, this so now what we just need is to do some if statement here okay we could do some if statement um, uh, let's see we could just say here let let products okay and then uh, we just write the if statement here okay we could just like write an if statement if for instance category id is not empty that means it is there then uh, we could return something here else if then we could just like say if there is category id plus and sort maybe we just say if there is uh, category id if there is category id and and sort by I'm just going to test out these scenarios and then here we just have errors and then we have this and here we can just remove the word const since we already have products as a let uh, even here so for instance if there is only the category id so uh, this uh, I don't know how they should order, uh, but if there is category ID, we just not only order this, but we pass where. Okay. Uh, so just going to pass where. So just say where. So where is also an object. Uh, then here where category id where category id is actually just pass like that where category id and then for this case we just have where uh, we have where here category id but then on order by we will have this price here we could uh, use created at actually just say price uh, now we 
and then here maybe we put sort sort by I'm not sure here for sure and something like this I guess we could just like try it and see what it actually gives us uh, for instance let's try a actual category we just we have to try some actual category most people say this one for this I'm just going to duplicate this and let's first go to API category just try API categories so I just first get the category for the food supplement category ID and I want to come and I apply it there okay so if I just come back here we have food supplements the category is this so come back here to this API uh, let's try products category ID and then we pass this and let's enter okay so now uh, how many items do we have so category ID is this that's good we have arrows T and Jinga and then zinc yeah so it seems it's working like it is getting us only the products by this category ID okay uh, this seems to be working now let's pass in the sort now when they are two what happens because if i pass the category id and then i also pass in this uh, let's pass in so i'm just going to keep this one so for this one is working and we can test it out quickly by after getting the category id in this page here we can get these products get products cut id category dot id and then we could maybe in the category get the title and others so we could uh, instead send the data um, what would we do from this because we still need the title and the slug somewhere uh, can I get them and I send them here? Um, we are sending category. Can we send also the products? Okay, they just send also products. Uh, is equal to products. And then I'm just going to go to this one. Let's say accept here the products and instead of abstracting products here let's only get the title and the slug and let's see if we still have everything running uh, i just simply want to refresh here and see if we still have uh, all the products present yeah we still have actually all the products here so it is working okay so now what we want is if for instance we apply the sorting uh, for instance if the sorting is desk or it is ascending let's go and try also like for the price okay so let's just go and apply it here so i'm just going to put and okay and sort is equal to desk something like this uh, so this one's supposed to sort them i guess uh, it should give the price from is that that's how they order the prices uh, let's see uh, first of all the products it still gives us the other products 
which is good but now we want to see the prices uh, so if you look at the prices it has new product which has a hey, by the way do we have price we don't have uh, price on this this is sales price I think we're supposed to order by sales price which price are we showing here on the UI I think on the UI we are showing this price here is uh, for instance new product 793 uh, new product is look out for the new product so new product 793 is sales price so this should be sales price go back in the rock and then i'm just going to simply here instead of price is actually sales price okay so let me just uh, refresh one more time since we have changed uh, okay so let's see if there is any change sales price 793.929 i don't think it is working it is not actually putting it in any order okay so let's just first see what this order because we need to apply still this uh, this okay and then at the same time we need to apply that's why they, we have to do both here the where and the order by i don't know if the order here matters where and then you pass order by sales price can we first actually console the log sort by so that we understand we are getting them uh, console log sort by okay uh, let's just make a api request here and we are just getting it on sort uh, sort Okay, let me just come here and just go down here. Okay, so it is giving us NAR. Okay. Uh, that is interesting. So it only reads only one params. If you have many params, it doesn't. Uh, the search params uh, I don't know here the dot gate so if we only pass for instance the sort by let's first see if I only pass here sort by would I get it just cut this let's go to products okay so here we get all the products but you actually see that we get it here okay that is interesting so we have to pass only it passes it cannot read uh, mm -hmm. So and if you pass both of them, let me just print here category ID and you go back to how it was just like this. It doesn't get anything. It gets only the category ID. So you can see here, wow. So it has like both. Like I'm seeing disk and this as if it is getting actually both of them. 
okay but then uh, how does that work because if we say order by uh, here is uh, pricing the sort itself does not work okay so if i want to do sort sort by we could first test this uh, you could see for the created ad it always works very well order by uh, let's see i have something written here let me just take a look There is, uh, I don't know why price ascending is not working. SC, and this is disk. Uh, are we passing disk? I don't know. Uh, let's first try to get this. Uh, I'm just going to remove everything, and instead, here where we have all products. Now, I'm just going to first do this. Uh, control C, comment out all this, and then let's pass here sales price. Sales price, and we're just going to say, for instance, <coughs> ascending. I don't know if ascending is SC. Is it SC? SC, ASC, ASC, ASC. Okay. Uh, let me just see if this does something. Let's go to this and let's remove all these ones. I just want to see if it can do ascending of prices. Okay, so let's check up. So sales price is 150 here. Then uh, 245, 246, 262. It actually wa uh, works actually yeah it is actually doing it so let me just put the sending desk okay if i put desk just come here okay So you can see sales price 991, 929, and then 793. So it is working. Uh, so now if it is working, let's check. So I'm just going to uh, get this. Okay. So before I remove this, I'm just going to only get the sort by. Okay, so I'm just going to pass in uh, instead here. I'm just going to pass in sort by. So just put sort by. Maybe I just put it uh, in just like this. Dollar sort by. I am not sure. Does this work this way? Uh, yeah let me just look at that for instance I'm just going to pass question mark I'm just going to pass sort let me just pass only the sort descending for instance so this should just remain the same yep so you can see 991 let me change it to ASC ascending. Okay, so that is just go back here. So you can see we have 150. So it is working. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to apply this sales price. Just cut this and let's 
put this one back okay so sort by uh, we have the where and then this order by okay so this is if and sort by is also true okay let's just try to see if we can have both of them uh, just to do this so now we're supposed to have sort by category id and the prices starting from the biggest okay so the prices there start from nine seven nine three uh two now here then it is not working okay let me just remove this now sorry uh let me just go to the console we have both of them uh it seems like we are not having where and then order by uh, let's first look in the documentation uh, maybe where we can just like see maybe if we can have where order by and blah blah so order by it does the sorting filtering and sorting okay so let's see here so we can have where and by, by the way uh, in our products that's why we have like where then category id is equal category id then include then we have this where oh and where what which one is the best So I don't know if uh, the sorting is, if you pass the sorting alone, it works. But when you pass uh, both, it doesn't. So when it does this, We might just do the sorting on the front end okay we might just like uh, do the sorting from the front end that one is also possible okay so i paused the second and i thought about it uh, so the uh, the problem was in the rearranging this okay so if we put this one first it will always come true and we always just do this one so we first put this one of category and sort on top and we do whereby category is category id order and then we say sales price if the sort is equal to ascending uh, then we do ascending else we do descending okay and this actually works so if we just go here and we test, uh, this is ascending. If we apply this ascending, you will see that we first get uh, 262, uh, 6827.89. If I change this to desk, okay. If I change this to desk, you can see that we have 
this okay we have nine to nine and all others so now the only thing is to make sure that we are sending these requests in this format and where are we going to do that so if we just go back to our place here we need to have a way of reading this and then we make a request so let me just go and see if we go to this page okay so you can see here we are just seeing this so this one should be the default one okay uh, this should be the default uh, the default one and we can also just also late here uh, let's first get the params. Can we get the search params? Uh, how do we get the search params here? Uh, for this one is, I think in the in this one we can actually. Can I put a comma after this, and then I maybe I just put like search. Uh, I think it is search params. Search params. Uh, this one I think should work. This console.log. Console.log search params. Okay. Uh, for now, of course, there will be no search params, but yeah since we have now these sort by let me just refresh and let's go back to the console and see if we have anything uh, like search params uh, okay okay So we have here now. Are we having an error on the UI? No. Uh, let's just see. Okay. React to DOM something. Okay. Uh, I guess we're supposed to have such. It is such params. Uh, uh, dot gate. Uh, dot for instance dot sort I think supposed to have something uh, I don't know uh, let me just go here and see Okay, so you can see uh, there is where we have this sort disk. Okay, uh, we have this sort uh, disk. Okay. Uh, scroll. So somewhere this we have. Uh, we have the search params okay we have the search params so let me just first get this <coughs> uh, for instance if I just want to see const okay uh, you say const sort search params const sort 
uh, just gonna say const sort is equal to search search params then in the search params we are just going to get the sort i think we, are, we could just like uh the structure it i guess uh, if it is this i can just say sort the structure is from uh, the search params and let's say console.log let me just console.log sort Uh, let me just go and refresh. And just go back here and just check. Uh, we have in internet and it was check uh, internet let me just first confirm uh, let me first fix my internet Okay, so uh, the internet is back. So let's check uh, here on the consoles if somewhere we have, and you can see here we have disk. Okay, so that's great. So we can get this the sort from the params, and we can also let uh, or sort the products. Okay. We can also let the products and if there is the sorting and then we do that. So for instance, we can just do if uh, can you say let products the same thing we did the other side uh, let products and then I can just say do if okay if sort for instance, if sort is equal to, so if sort is equal to disk, okay, so we could get the products. So I just make a query for the products here. So we could just say products, and here we just say, uh, say products. So here we append cut and then we also append the sort and it says sort is equal to dollar uh, dollar sort as simple as that so we are appending the sort <coughs> is equal to we could just actually append um, Actually, we could just only check if uh, do we need to to do both of this. We could just say if sort is true, like there is some something in the sort, then we could just do sort. Okay, and then we could just say else, <coughs> else we could just do this. Okay, we just simply do this. Okay, products is a way to get products, and we just simply pass in the category ID. Okay, and now uh, let's see the products. Uh, so, by default, since this will not be true, if then it will run this, let's try that. So I'm just going to remove everything here and let's try supplements and we see. Uh, by the way, uh, filtering and sorting can be 
uh, really giving some headache but at the end of the day you can uh, try to get to MS Presley in Next.js and if you are working with the server side and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, so now we have all the uh, the products, the user way. Uh, you can see they are not organized in any way. Okay. Uh, they are not uh, organized in any way. I think by default we should organize them by ascending. So you can just go here in the products. And then here we could um arrange them by ascending uh, or oh, let me see so here we could here we are using the latest one the one they put but you can see order by we're using created art uh, starting with this but we could actually just try and say by the title like the alloy start first blah blah depending on what you want you can default it here okay we can default it here like the latest ones we put them on top they just leave like that so now we could i think now actually changing this one to a to z instead of relevancy we will change this to a to z so that we have also a to z here but let's try high to low so if we just try this sort is equal desk now you see that the prices change nine to seven then seven this then that now let's try row to high uh just need to change this to ascending and you can see here it is already ascending let's try this instead of relevancy let's try a to z I'm just going to go to filter component, in fact, sorting. And this one, let me change the title uh, A to Z. Uh, now, <laughs> if we put A to Z, we need to, uh, I think, we will be needing to change something because that one will be. another one uh, let me just first wait uh, because if we put a to z so here it will be sort uh, maybe title uh, we can just leave that one of a to z but it would be sorting the uh, by title i guess Okay, so right now we have this uh, working properly, high to low and low to high. So we just work on these uh, prices. So what I just need to do is putting some uh, filters here on the side here. Uh, let me just go here. So on the side here, we need to put some links. We can have this under these things here so i'm just going to have also if you go to the filter component you can see we have the sorting and then there's why we have the filters so in the filters is where we have the price filter and the brand filter now if i just go to the price filter we have these uh, these ones okay so now if we just go ahead and have these uh prices okay so what we need is to render here some sort of uh we'll have a reset button here maybe reset and then if here we have the filters which are links so I'm just going to see uh, these are called what price ranges maybe so price ranges if we map them so we map okay and then we have the range 
and let's go ahead and do this so i'm just going to say return and i'm just going to return a link okay from next link okay so we need to return this uh, here range the title i think uh, there is display so here there is range uh, here just gonna say range dot display okay then let's put href href equal to hash so this href we want to filter now by this so if you just go back to this one and you click like under 2000 you will see here it is having here uh, the append sort ascending and then max okay so here they they will have sort ascending you can see price it is low to high and then then they apply max 2000 so they will just like have max of 2000 or the things will be up to 2000 okay so i'm just going to copy this okay copy up to there i'm just going to paste it in here so we can just like construct this string here okay i'm just going to construct this in here so we can just push to category and then we can just have this one as a slug so dollar uh, slug and where can we get this slug the slug must enter here so we have a slug coming in okay and then of course this let's put the key uh, equal to i so sort uh, is equal to ascending and max okay so for instance we have those ones which have uh, max and mean we're just going to see How we're just going to consider max and mean at the same time we can just do an if statement but Can just like do something like um, of course here on the max is going to be this is going to be dollar uh, just put uh, dollar range dot max okay uh, just like this okay so now let's look at these filters we have so we just put them in a div so all these filters I'm just going to put them in a div so you can just see flex uh, flex core Uh, with a gap maybe of uh, three uh, let's just try this and I'm just going to move the background I don't know where this background comes from course span here do we have background I have this background of green I don't know where it is coming from uh, 
these early Hooters. Okay, so we have this and the brand. And then in the filters. Oh, so we have this one also in Flex. So, uh, it's supposed to be only this in Flex. Just like this. This one, let's remove Flex from here. So it should be okay now. Okay, so where is this green coming from? Uh, let's go back. Uh, remember here on this, where are we putting the green from? I can see here you have BG white. Uh, I'm not seeing it for sure. Uh, anyways, okay, it is here. Um, this just remove this. Okay. Uh, just going to remove that. <clears throat> okay so just work on it but now if i click under 200 uh, let me just go to this uh, let's put maybe 300 uh, then we have maybe 700 okay uh, maybe we could have another one maybe saying above maybe above 700 something like that and about this one would be have minimum only and this would be 300 under 300 and then this will be between 300 and 700 so this one will be between 300 and 700 and then maybe for this one about 700 okay so you could just have those ones so for now what is going to happen is it is going to have this changed i guess uh, let's just click onto this okay so you can see here we have and I defined the slug guys this pass in the slug so go to the filter component uh, we have the slug so let's pass it to the filters slug is equal to slug so slug is equal to slug and this is what type script is very key it would not allow us uh do that okay uh, and then on this we can accept slug okay we could accept the slug here and then we pass the so the slug uh here slug and you see that even in the brand i think maybe you need it but they just first concentrate here so here we have the slug now uh, let me just go back <coughs> uh, i'm just going to go back to this
okay so let's see now if i say under 300 it actually appends just max here okay and then if i click on this between this it appends max to this now we have to know a way of having the minimum and the maximum uh how can we do that so here what we're going to do is that we have to do an if statement okay we have to do an if statement of what exactly we are going to return so we could just say that uh, here on this uh, I could do an if statement within this one let me just first cut this so you could just say if range if range if range dot max and range dot mean so if all values are there if this is true then we should display something here in other words we should now have this or or we could have this so you just see we could construct here and we say if the range um, if range dot max and range dot mean uh, they are all there then you're just going to have sort ascending and then uh, let's just go and copy from here if we click uh, this so here we're just going to have this here we use uh, ascending max and then mean so here we just have this here we start with the max and then we end with the mean so we just add the mean so here we just have and mean and then we pass also this uh, range dot range dot mean just like that s is going to be only max uh, i think there are three scenarios where we have also only the mean could just put another one here okay we just say as if range dot max okay if this is true do this uh else we do that so let's just say range if there is only range dot max then we put the max here uh we put the max only and there is no mean and else then we pass only mean i guess just like that I, do they have that filter of above yes you can see this this one of above and it only have mean only 
so let's just check ours right now if it is working so we have uh, this and you can see here so ascending and max so if we just say between okay just refresh uh it should just like if we put 300 it should put min and max let me put here this 300 the link is not working I think it is rendering just a second because the link is there. Uh, it's still a like compiling or something. Okay, so this is 300. If we set this. So you can see it has the max and then mean then above we should only have mean is undefined uh, let's go and see okay so this is supposed to be mean is equal mean because there is of course no max at that point so just refresh one more time Okay, so if I just say above 700, it is still having an undefined. Uh, did I put mean here? Uh, let's just see what do I have. Yes, uh, above 700, it has mean. Uh, above 700, mean here is 700. Uh, how comes so if range dot max is true then we put max else we put mean uh, how comes this range dot mean is not showing I don't know how that one is possible Let's remove this back to supplements. Maybe <coughs> okay. So I just want to apply this one of mean. Oh, so that right now it is okay. So if I apply above seven hundred, it has mean equal to seven hundred. Okay. So now the only thing we just need is to capture this okay and we make sure we are filtering this okay so there is uh, there is less than and greater than in the filters you can see there is lte uh, i guess lte is less than equal okay and then we have also greater than equal okay so uh, we could just go ahead and also do the uh, this okay where we have this where and then we keep on populating it you can see here if there is mean and max this is the where it is if mean there is this and then there is, then there is this okay 
and then we can just uh, have the order by and blah blah so let's first go and see uh, how we are going to manipulate our cut uh, our products remember right now we have only one where i think that's the only one uh where category id okay so uh, we could uh, try uh, there is where here they let also where so yes also let like for instance where and is equal to an empty okay uh, you can see so in the case where if category id so you can see in the case of if category id and i think in all cases we have the category id okay in the in this case where we are doing those filters at that level we have this uh, category id is going to always be there okay category id is going to be uh, there okay so we can just start with this where and maybe we initialize it with category id so if i just say where is equal to this to this object okay uh, start with category id and we can just say if uh, we say if uh, there is mean and max uh, if there is mean and max of course we can just get mean and max from these ones uh, just uh, create mean and max so just say mean is equal here mean and then max uh, is going to be equal max so you can just get mean and max so just say if mean and max then we say where dot sales price uh, let me just copy from here so if we have both okay if we have both we could just try this where the sales price this one of the sale sales price and then is greater than we pass the mean and then here we pass the max just like this and then we have else if 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 we have like only max okay so we can have these two as statements just like this uh, let me just come and I put it here so it is if we have only mean uh, then I have here where sale price uh, it, we just pass greater than of course the mean and then as if we have max then here we have LTE equal this uh, here it has to be max so here we are creating the where object using the if statements 
okay uh, I, wish, I wish i could just console.log the where we have at this point so that here we only pass the where so here we pass uh, the where uh, even here we have where okay uh, I'm not sure what we have at each point but uh, I believe this uh, by default is going to be where category ID by default and then we'll be adding in keeps on adding in other things okay uh, first of all so let's just go and try uh, from the API is the only place we can try so here I'm just going to try okay uh, I'm just going to try uh, ascending of course so let's first see ascending if it is still working okay so ascending we start with 262 uh, 682 uh, okay so let's just go and apply for instance max so I'm just going to put and and max equal to uh, 300 uh, we have an uh, error uh, let me just see which error do we have here uh so where uh price okay uh i am i having somewhere price uh here i have this sales price i just see here sales price and this my hope there is no any other place with the just price because we don't have price uh let's Road one more time. We still have an error. Uh, just scroll down. That one we have solved. So this is argument and on the price that is done. Argument price. Uh, let me hope I don't have anywhere price. Uh, if I just say price, uh, can I start with price, 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 uh, price, price, price? I think we we are good. We don't have sales price i guess uh, so here we are uh, supposed to have also where uh, somewhere here uh, let's put the where first just like that uh, even here where okay okay let's just see uh, I don't know why we have an error but it shouldn't have an error right now okay and we have one product guys uh, look at this we have one product if i pass 800 okay this pass 700 uh we have two products okay so the mean and max is working so if we pass only mean okay so minimum of 700 okay we have these products 789 and seven nine three and nine two nine 
okay so that's great so we have the uh, this working the mean it's the only amount of going here in the pages and then we get these params okay so we can also get sort okay and i think here we can also get the mean and max i don't know if it just works like that mean and max and then we are like if there is sort we do this uh, so sort is going to always be there so now we need to actually um, we have to actually do another else okay because this one is going to handle the sorting I'm just going to have two else if statement uh, two statements if sort is equal to uh disk okay it will run uh, this and in this case we could even put uh sort is equal disk here but even if we just lift it just like that it would still run this okay the only thing i'm just targeting is putting another ls if here and then let's put ls here so if ascending if sort is equal to uh ascending asc now we could get others uh we could do because all others are done with ascending okay uh was it is it really necessary no you just first go back okay so we can just do i guess it is if it is if the we have for instance max so if we have uh, if we have max okay uh, we can start with if we have max and mean if we have max and mean then products uh, we could just like have this await uh, gate products and then we have the cut id sort must be ascending okay so everything is going to be uh, asc uh, it has to be ascending then we add and and uh, we pass in the mean equal to dollar dollar mean and then of course we pass and max and then this is going to be equal to dollar max okay and then of course we have ls if okay ls if we have only mean okay then we'll pass uh, here we'll just remove the max and then ls if we have max then would we'll pass uh, would we'll remove mean and we we'll remove or uh, remain with only max i think that should be it 
uh, with all those if statements. I'm not sure if here we are going to abstract them. Okay. So we could just go here on this and let's start doing some stuff here. So I'm just going to start by getting all the products. So here we should get all the products. Okay, so we are getting all the products. We can get them from high to low. So right now we can start from high to low. Okay, so you can see now we are having high to low. We can have low to high. So I press here on low to high. You can see we have low to high. Now let's go and actually have under 300. So we have max 300. And the possibility I'm getting is that we are not getting this from here. Okay, we are not getting this from here. They may print out the max in this case. Uh, let me refresh. Okay. Um, refreshing. Okay, so let's just check here on the console. We might be having some NAR somewhere. Okay, for some reason we actually have 300. Okay. Uh, we have 300. If I'm not mistaken, we are sending the 300. So if we are sending 300, uh, let me just uh, console for this. Okay, so max here is 700. Okay, so I have 700. Uh, then uh, means uh, we receiving this. I wait to get data, we pass in this. Sort and mean equal to mean and then and max equal to max then for the max we are sending category sort ascending and then we are sending max uh, I don't know why we are not getting this uh, but in here, let's paste this. If we had this, uh, for instance, okay, there's just one, one thing we can just uh, go to route. Just a second. Okay, let's just let me pass this. Sort equal sending. I'm just going to pass the way this is. Okay, I'm just going to come and pass this starting from the sort. So go to the API. So and sort. Uh, let's enter this. And you can see here we have it. Uh, minimum of 300 and maximum of 700. We have this 682. Okay. We have one product, but then it is not reaching. Okay, this API route is not reaching. We have to append cut ID. Let me see. I think all of them we are pending the cut. Let me just go back. Yep, all of them we are pending the category. At least all of them. We have sort maybe I need to start with this sort, this one. 
maybe this one is always true and then like i'm not having anything do i need to reset all these uh some of these of my queries uh just a second okay so the problem uh was in our order of the filters here so we start we have to start with this uh max and mean everything was okay um i first posted a bit uh so everything was okay but uh we had to start with the max and mean if you start with the sorting and how i came to know that is i checked in this get data function and i simply went to this get data function and i consult the actually the endpoint that is going so in the other first place we are getting only one endpoint but you can see uh we're only getting this one in the first case but after changing the order you can see that the endpoint actually changes and it is considering the mean and the max okay so the endpoint you can see now it has this mean okay so that's why how i came to understand the problem so right now you can have under 300 you have only one product between 300 and 700 you have uh two products and then you have above 700 you can see you have all these ones okay so as a challenge uh as a challenge right now we have all these ones okay we're just going to have also reset okay i think we can also have this uh reset and the reset could be simply actually returning to this uh to this page so you could just work quickly on that uh if i just go on these filters and on this uh filters we could just have this one as a link that is i think the the easy one we could have it as a link so if we just have this as a link okay taking to href and this could return back to this just simply it goes to category slug only so it can just go to category slug uh just like we can reset maybe we could just like reset to ascending just something like this uh, we could just return uh, to this and let me put here just by between okay uh, so now if we click on reset it should be able to reset back to or it removes all these price filters okay uh, <clears throat> okay so so far if i click reset okay you can see it resets back to this or the products where you can uh, go ahead and do this uh, high to low okay you can do this or this above okay and you can just go under okay so now we in the in the next episode we will work uh, so as a challenge so let me give you a challenge uh, I want you also to go ahead and add uh, this uh, for the custom filter whereby someone puts in his own mean okay so you can just work on this where person enters so just going to do this while someone puts in this mean and max and he clicks on go okay so basically is get this input get this input and then create the url uh, on the click here and then you can also try the brand if you just look at for the brand if you pass in some song so you see that it has sort ascending uh it has the mean and then it appends the brand okay so you can uh just do 
uh, do that. I, I will come, I will work on it uh, offline, then I will come and then uh, I show you what I would have uh, accomplished. But I'm really happy with what we have uh, done. We really did a lot of uh, good work for ourselves. Okay. I think instead of this reset on your prices, I will add it to there whereby we reset all the filters. If someone wants to reset uh, the entire filters, I will redesign this part. But so far, the uh, logic and the functionality is working. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this episode. It has been a lot of learning, uh, trials, and so on and so forth. Thank you for, uh, for this episode. I will see you in the next one.